This is the Fresh Off the Hook family, F-O-T-H-F, a family of crocheters displaying the talent that has been given to us from above. Fresh Off the Hook. Hey everybody, this is Yolanda and this is Fresh Off the Hook Monday on a Tuesday. Yes, today is Tuesday, January 15th. Um, first, let me say Happy New Year. Um, this is the first video that I've done for Fresh Off the Hook in 2013. And also today is um, Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday. Today is his actual birthday. So happy birthday to Dr. Martin Luther King. May he rest in peace. Um, we actually celebrate um, you know, Martin Luther King Day next Monday, but today is his actual birthday. So with that being said, um, the reason I actually wasn't going to do a video, um, which is why I didn't do a video yesterday, because what I have to show you um, is not necessarily new. It is fresh off the hook because I did just make these items, but they're, they're things that you've seen from me before. Um, if you don't know, I do run Don't Get It Twisted Crochet as a business. And so my most popular items are, of course, the things that I spend the most time on. And those would be my Infinity Scars and the Slotchy Beanie. And so that's pretty much all I've been crocheting since probably about the end of October um, up until this point. I really have not had a lot of time to make anything else other than Infinity Scars and Slotchy Beanies. Um, but things are kind of slowing down a little bit. Not a lot, but they are slowing down a little bit. And so hopefully I'll get some time to focus on some other things that I have really been wanting to make. I have some ideas of some things that I want to make, but just not the time to make them. Um, so, but I decided to do the video anyway, because one of my goals for this year is to actually do Fresh Off The Hook and commit to making the videos. Last year I was a little slack for this very same reason. Um, because I was making the same things over and over again um, and a lot of times the things were going into the mail before I actually got a chance to make the videos but this year I have made a commitment to myself and to the Fresh Off The Hook family that I actually do want to do these videos and make these videos and so with that being said whether you've seen it before or not if it's Fresh Off The Hook if I've recently if I've made it from one Monday to the next you're gonna see it on the video that's in if you you know you can not watch the whole video if you don't want to if it's like oh it's another infinity scar then just go watch it but um hopefully i hope that you will anyway um so let's get to it um like i said infinity scars got you being these flowers that's what we have fresh off the hook for this week um and actually i'll start with the what i call the big hook big yarn infinity scarf because i actually don't think I've shown this, like shown it on video other than pictures. I haven't been able to actually have one in my hand and show it. And black may not have been the best color to choose, but that's what the customer ordered for the video. But I mean, that's what the customer ordered, but black may not be the best thing to show on the video. I don't know how well that's showing up. But it's big hook, big yarn. The reason I call it that is because I use this hook to make it. This is a P hook, I believe. I know it's not an S because I have an S hook and I know the S is bigger than this. I think this is called the, it's a P hook. Not sure what size it is. All I know is it's big and I like it because it makes things go quickly. And the yarn I use, I have to actually keep the label because I always forget. It's Loops and Threads Cozy Wool. Um, this thread, um, this yarn is distributed as far as I know um, via Michaels. This the only place I've been able to find it is at Michaels. Um, it is a wool blend yarn. It's a six weight super bulky. So wool blend super bulky. Um, it's 50 50 50 wool 50% acrylic. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is my new favorite yarn. It comes in some beautiful colors. Um, but it works up so quickly. It is so soft and um, It takes two to make this scarf. So two scans of that to make this and It's you know regular infinity scarf, but I love it because of how it stretches I mean it has a lot of stretch in it 
and I mean to the point where yeah I could put that on my head and wear it like that excuse my hair um, I just had braids and took the braids out and got to figure out what I'm gonna do with it but yeah it's a um it's a pretty big scarf and that's why I like it um, and it works up really fast like I said because I'm using that big hook it takes me probably about 45 minutes to make these 45 minutes to an hour just depending on how I'm feeling and how quick I want to crochet but again one of my favorites I call it the big hook big yarn one of my favorites now the yarn is a little bit on the expensive side um, I think it's $7.99 a skein so you know eight dollars and some change for one of these so I definitely if you were gonna make something out of it or wanted to, to attempt to make one of these and this is just simple it's double crochet I mean you chain join and double crochet in the round and two skeins make about eight rows so not a hard scarf I don't have a pattern or anything for it because it's not I mean it's a kind of I don't want to say it's free form, but you kind of just, like I said, it's double crochet for eight rows. But um, it is the yarn. That's what I'm talking about. The yarn is a little on the expensive side, so if you, um, I don't know, if it, like if it's on, when Michael has like those coupons where you get the 25% off or something like that, it may be better to purchase the yarn at that time and that's normally when I purchase it anytime I have a coupon or if the yarn and occasionally they do put that yarn on sale so anytime it's on sale I would kind of like buy like I go from I think I have three Michaels in this where I'm located um within an hour of each other I go to all three of them and kind of buy them out <laughs> um with that yarn so then the other one is this is what I call my signature infinity scarf, and this is kind of what I started with. These were the ones that I was making to start um, when I started selling infinity scarves. This was my very first one that I was making. Again, no, oh, no, I should take that back. There is a pattern. It's actually my pattern that I do sell, but no, you know, nobody else's pattern. Um, it's my pattern for, and it's really simple. Um, this one is Hometown USA, which is also a favorite of mine but as you can see the, the stitches in this one compared to the big hook see how open that is it's almost kind of webby and then this one the stitches are kind of really close together i mean they're still space like but nowhere near like the big hook um so again hometown usa this one also gets and see the difference in the rows this is eight rows Hometown USA using a smaller hook, and then this is eight rows. <laughs> um, cozy wool using that bigger hook, so big difference in how they turn out, but same concept. Still, both of them infinity scarves. Um, and for that green one that I just showed, one of my favorite flowers, the floral flower. Yes, I make this flower for everything because I love it. Um, this is out of a book. I can't think of the name of the book. Oh, yeah, I do have it sitting right here. Crochet Embellishments is the name of the book. And the this one is the floral flower. I love this flower. Anybody who knows it, I, I make this flower with everything. Um, I make flower pins, and that's what this will be when it's completely finished. It's The crochet part is finished, but I have to put the felt backing on it. And the pen. And then that goes with the green scarf. So I'm ordered the two together. And then last but not least, I have a hat for Oh, here we go. Jen makes yarn. Jen likes yarn. She is one of our family members. I like, I need to send her a gift for her Sachi Beanie pattern. I did not like making hats before her Sachi Beanie pattern. And now, this is one of my favorite things to make. Now, this one is for a two-year-old, so it's a little smaller if you want to, like, is that really a slouchy beanie? Yes. It's for a toddler. I do, I modify her pattern to fit different sizes, and it's not a hard pattern to modify, and it's a free pattern. Um, she has it on her blog, um, but simple free pattern, double crochet. It is one of the best hat patterns as far as fit that I have made in a long, long time. And so, absolutely love it, love it, love it, love it. 
And so, like I said, this one is for a two-year-old. I got one more to make in adult size, and I'll be done with that. But that's all I have um, for right now, or for this week. And like I said, I'll be back next week. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping to get a day this week, maybe Saturday or Sunday, um, because I've been wanting to make a different style slouchy beanie. Um, kind of, it's a variation of this, but it's different as far as the stitching and everything like that. But it's still a slouchy beanie, and the foundation starts with her pattern, and then I've kind of deviate from it a little bit. And so I want to attempt to make that. Um, later on this week and we'll see how that goes and hopefully I'll be able to show that on my next video so until next time um, remember don't get it twisted get a crocheted and also make sure that you click on the links below check out the rest of the family we have some awesome new members who have been added we have some younger members who have been added. I think a 10 and a 12 year old who um, got hook and fever so definitely check them out see what they're making what's fresh off their hooks and if you're interested in joining I think Marcel or one virtuous woman here on YouTube is still accepting um, people into fresh off the hook she also has the sister family gifted hands um so if you sew or knit or do something else with your hands and want to to be involved in that then definitely contact her get your video auditions in and you know let's make this a great year so happy new year again and like i said don't get it twisted get it crocheted